Buy my guns Food now. Front. Don't think I will. The bait shop. Oh god. Do this way, bro. Oh, so we got a couple of quests to get through. A side quest before we get to the Children of Atom's leader into an ambush. Okay, let's go here first. My melee build is a lot more powerful than my gun build. In my original build when Fallout 4 first came out was a melee build, so it kind of makes sense. I'm good with that. Especially with my high defense when I'm standing still and attack power with this freaking epic hammer that you get from the quest here. I think it's the most powerful melee weapon. But, Your yeah. dagger counter doing cartwheels too? Alright, so, what are we doing here? This is all works. Put your Uncle Ken here. Uncle Ken, you here? Uncle Ken, are you in this house? Are you in this house, Uncle Ken? All right, Uncle Ken, let's see where we are. Man, this place is so foggy and dreary. I love the atmosphere. I don't know if the mods I have installed from ESO Blitz is helping this or not, or if it's just for the mainland, but what the hell. Okay, so this place is well secured. Nice. Could be a... See? You see those corpses? They're from me. Oh. Unless you're ready for the long walk. Go away. Uncle Ken. Take it easy, buddy. Take it easy, Uncle Ken. Mitch sent me. Mitch? My boy Mitch sent you? He was always a smart one. He sent me the fog condensers. It made it safe to breathe here. Glad to hear he still cares about his old uncle. But you... What? What have you done? They're coming! They're coming! What are you talking about? Then, let's work together. Ah, oh, Fine. Bro. I haven't reset my traps or repaired the defenses. Quick, do what you can with the workbench supplies. They'll be here soon. Interesting. Okay, so we have to build the defenses here. Okay. I need to put materials in here earlier. Defenses. Turrets. Some of this settlement is already... Set, like... You got parking garages here. You got the house already set. Damn. 
<laughs> Made him into a fertilizer. Got a house here. This little gate situation going on. Unless here. you're hounding for a green suntan, I suggest we get a move on. Anyways, let's go talk to him.
system. I create a fence around here. Don't need too many houses. Huge settlement. I have to create even more space than I already have. Okay. Uncle Ken. Hi. Not bad. Mitch was a good boy to send you. But still, time to go. Goodbye. Goodbye. Before you attract more of them. Mitch. Mitch. Let's put a little water well right here, buddy. Oh, you are because I'm a nice guy. Mm -hmm. Why stay here? Why would you possibly stay here? It's dangerous. My family's lived here for seven generations. Again, I the voice acting can sometimes be super weird. That's what you expect them to now say. Go. I'm like, what dramatic happened that the this guy he's talking like that when, you, when I picked up and why stay here? I don't think anything justified happened for that. Let me try to see if my persuasion can work. Mitch sent me to bring you home safely. Please, go to Far Harbor. Now, oh, Mitch worries too much. I'll oh. be fine. Now go, show yourself out. Okay. Return to Mitch. I want to have this settlement now. Nice. Maybe I can store some of this junk. Has a car on it. Is this legit? Oh, I'll leave it alone since they're not attacking me. Echo Lake Lumber. Interesting. The cure Echo Lake Lumber says it kills some folks. Okay. 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 Do this by me. What do I gotta do? What do I gotta kill? Trying to die tonight. Well, I guess they 
got wise and told him. Just lumber mill. Okay, okay. We can work with that, buddy. We can work with that. Let's see. This way, I can't really see. Oh, the first person just be getting you. Oh, son of a gun! Oh. To secure this job. That's my curiosity. Someone's coming. <laughs> Get out of here. Oh, there's more. They're sucking down a lot of rats sticking around here. I know, buddy. I know. I guess we're going to have to do is see all the fussing on the way. I just gotta be careful when I record. I don't have to press, only press the wrong hotkey and end the recording. What? Who's there? Nobody. Let's get out of here. Right, so these two are done. We'll come back. Um, let's just do two blood ties.
excited by doing okay okay oh so clear wow just an aesthetic quality to it me just standing here Had guts. Ooh, we gotta be chilling here, huh? The fog will get you. Sorry, bro. Yeah, man. Wouldn't want it going to waste now, would we? No, we would not, my. F oh, I almost killed you, bro. Your heart beating, outsider. Oh, it's getting lights out off. for you. What the hell? Blew up your head, Doug. Mysterious hollow tape. I 
these like locations because I cannot find the workbench in these places. They are too big. Too damn big. E Bombay. E Bombay. E Bombay. There's the lighthouse. Like the bar. <laughs> okay. I'll be look. damned if I give up on taking back my land. Okay, boy. Ooh. So I have a really nice one today. Let me just look at this. Trapper who killed your husband? He did. Then it's done. It's finally done. All those lives that were lost, all those debts finally repaid. And it was no son or daughter of Far Harbor who stood up to the island and avenged the Dalton bloodline. It was you, an outsider, a mainlander. The, the lone final survivor. Has been written. The story has come to an end. This is a day I never thought I'd live to see. Thank you. How about this holotape? I found a holotape from the last guy you sent to the lighthouse. He thought your whole story was a lie. Is it? A lie? No, no. It was true. Or at least there was truth in it. Was there a little harmless exaggeration as well? Perhaps. But some things are more important than truth. Look at you, for instance. You've seen the island's dangers and survived. You've learned something valuable. What's more, the island learned something too. It knows you're not some greenback mainlander who can't tell up from down in the fog. The island will respect you now. And that's more than I can say for most who step off the boat. Hmm, got to help. I'm just glad it's over. If I'd have kept going, there wouldn't be anything left alive on this island. <laughs> I that's have such a weird no delivery. To doubt you. Now, weird every delivery good story to my personality. Gotta have a happy ending, right? The hero finds the treasure, saves the sweetheart. No, and thanks, rides Kat. You're a little too old for me. Well, I'm a little old to leap up on a horse. But I have got something close to a treasure. This is an heirloom that's been in my family for. Ah, oh, let me think. Oh, for at least a generation or two. There's no Daltons left to inherit the thing. So it might as well pass on to you. The island knows this weapon. Oh, yes. You carry this, and it'll take you seriously. And that's it. That's the end. I can sleep easy now, knowing there won't be any unfinished business when they put me in the ground. Off you go now. My story's over, but yours... I think yours is only just getting interesting. Button. Blood letter. Thank you. Mrs. Dalton. The island gets us all in the end, but it ain't got me yet. <laughs> yes, Miss Dalton. And those crab shells are supposed to help us how? I cleared the lumber mill for you. We gotta go see the captain. Here's the pay. I don't care if you don't want it. People keep leaving the island. But now that there's land, land to call their own, they'll come back. My friends have already sent word. We're going to turn back the tide. You'll see. Okay, small Bertha. Food in front, knocking back. Beach. Search. 
your loved ones with my fine hand cannons. Bertha. Excuse me, ma'am? Smalls, we got no time for you. The mainlander cleared out Echo Lake Lumber Mill. Whatever you're talking about isn't as important as what Bertha's got to say. We gotta get off the docks, Captain. If you give us some of those Acadian fog condensers, my friends are ready to homestead the lumber mill. The surviving is about more than taming fog. We gotta stay together, Bertha. But we're no good here. Harbormen need their own land. Something to protect and hold. I was wrong about you. What? Not you. You. Bertha knows this island better than you, Ava. We give folks some condensers, materials, and a chance to build defenses. And we'll survive, all right? And thrive. I'll help, too. I can lend a hand, too. You would? Well, then their odds are sure to be better. Give them the fog condensers, Avery. Well, I, I won't stop you, but until we deal with the children of Adam, settling the island again, it could blow up in your face. Come, Bertha. You might want to check up on Echo Lake. Bertha's friends would no doubt welcome you. And take this. You never cease to amaze. Thank you. Wait. Big Shop's got everything you need. Mm -hmm. Oh, I need to be level 41, seriously. The mariner help me. Don't let the island catch you off guard. I don't have time. I found Uncle Ken. He's still alive, but he won't come back. That that's cause for celebration. We were worried about him. He really is all right. Do you think he's safe? He's a lot tougher than he looks. Maybe I should see if any of the locals want a chance to homestead again. As tough as he is, a few more guns. Here. I... I... Mitch is at a loss for words. Hush now. I owe you one. Thank you, Mitch. Thank you, Mitch. So what's this thing with the mariner? Just mm. what she need. Mariner. Harbor's safe as it's going to get. You ever get a gnawing in your belly to do something crazy? Reason and sense keep steering you clear. No. What's on your mind? You're the only mainlander I'd ever tell of this. So hear me out. The Red Death. You may have heard of it. The big monster lives beneath the waves, only strikes when the fog is thick. People think it's some drunken sailor's tale, but no one goes sailing when there's a fog on. In their bones. They know there's something out there. <laughs> is there any evidence the Red Death is real? When I was a little one, I went sailing with my aunt. Fog rolled in thick and fast, and we saw it. Glowing red, crimson, an unholy light that stretched to the sky. My aunt was no fool. We rowed to shore with all our might. Tide made it hard. 
but we hit landfall. Yeah, I suppose the Red Death could exist. Good. An open mind. With my business here done, and knowing someone like yourself, I seek to end this unholy terror. Dozens of boats over the long years been claimed by it. I mean to hunt this Red Death. Are you with me? How do we go about this hunt? No one's encountered the Red Death up close and lived. But many folk have seen its glow from afar. I've been collecting the details of those sightings for years. We take our boats, and I can get us there. I know it. But it could be the deadliest challenge we ever face. So I'll understand if you pass. Come Count me in. Bring whatever weapons of death and mass destruction you've got. Meet by the docks. You take your boat, I'll take mine. Hmm. This trip is going to test our metal more than anything. Okay, I guess that's where we are off to.